Hey y'all, welcome to Creekside Cubing. Today I'm going to unbox this cool looking box and explore its contents and tell you about them. So, it was, it was called a Dream Park um, from where I bought it. I actually got it on eBay. You can see that inside it's supposed to contain a Master Morphix, Pyraminx, Megaminx, Cure One, Skew, and a Snake or roller I think they call that something like that so yeah again it was called Dream Park um, I can't read the Chinese but I think that looks like a Xing Shao logo am I not correct on that? anyway so yeah um, if we open this flap you can actually sort of see well you can see the Mega Minx but there's like a pamphlet in the way and then up here there's some um, like a whole a picture of a whole bunch of different puzzles but they're not all you know in this box but I'm assuming this stuff is from Sheng Shao but all I can see is Chinese on it like over here it says Dream Park set of six um, I did not take the time to research what Dream Park is, but anyway, let's get into this box and see what we have. So it looks like this comes out. Not sure if there's any point of keeping the box or not. Uh, let's see here. How about using a cube stand to set that up? Okay. Looks like we have a compository uh, pamphlet. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> together, supposedly showing you how you can solve it. Maybe the most interesting part for me is um, those depictions of the snake, the different shapes that you can make. So some of those might be a fun challenge to try. Okay. So, what should we get into first? Actually, to be honest, I have opened this previously. In a recent video, I said I solved a Master Morphix before, and this is the one. But these other puzzles I haven't really played with. So, yeah, here's the Master Morphix. Turns very smoothly. Um, I am assuming that it's a Shang Shao. Actually, right here's my Shang Shao Pure Morphix. Well, the shades are not quite exactly the same, but it doesn't necessarily prove anything. From that logo, I still think this these are um, Shang Shao products. Um, if you're not sure what a Master Morphix is, this is actually a 3x3 cube made into a tetrahedron. So a six-sided puzzle made into a four-sided puzzle. Um, for me, it was quite difficult. I I struggled the most with this than any other shape mod I've ever solved. And of course it, it can shape shift. So yeah, that's that. It's it's very smooth and I already know from scrambling this and solving it that um it once it you get it scrambled it doesn't turn as well as it does at first, but that's okay. It's not like a it's supposed to be an extremely high quality cube or anything. So, there we go. Um, let's see, how about Pyraminx? I'm not a huge Pyraminx fan, it's alright to solve now and then, but I haven't gotten into um, speed solving Pyraminx necessarily. The shades on this, this Pyraminx are really nice, like probably my favorite of any Pyraminx I have. So. Um, the Florian cutting is a little bit lacking. There's some there, more than some of my other Pyraminxes. Yeah, I already know how to... Whatever, I can solve it. I just generally solve, like, this layer. Sorry, this layer. And then I'll do the second layer. I don't know. It's just... It's okay. I don't know. I think maybe someday I'd like to try... Um, solving a master pyraminx but I'm not planning to get one real soon I guess like as far as corner cutting doesn't really do anything real special but 
yeah and the mechanism it has ball bearings to click it into place the tips click into place really nice so that's a plus um, I think a lot of puzzles don't really have such good tips as these so yeah it's cool enough um, how about skewed again this is a puzzle which I know how to solve um, basically just using sledgehammers the whole time after I solve one side and I just use sledgehammers to solve the rest of it in a certain sequence I haven't gotten into learning advanced skewed so this is pretty smooth I think maybe sometime if I can develop some decent finger tricks then I wouldn't mind getting better at skew, being able to do it pretty fast, but at this point that's not really what I'm working on. Another thing too is I was wearing a um, cast embrace on this this arm, which kept me from um, doing skew very well, so I think that was a part of it. But now that I'm working on regaining some flexibility, that's my range of motion right there. Um, maybe I can pick up this puzzle and learn how to solve it again but this feels fine um, again I don't feel extremely qualified to to make a huge judgment on skew but so far my um, impression of this set is that it's a pretty good deal so how about okay here's a puzzle that I don't know how to solve um, I do have the famous Chi Yi in the stickless version um, but I have not gotten around to attempting learning how to solve it. I haven't really been messing with it. So, but this slice layer, or slice as I believe it is called, um, is very smooth. It doesn't like click into place, but yeah, it's just really smooth. Okay, this is a little bit sluggish up here. And this D layer is kind of about the same but um, yeah I mean it feels okay I think a problem with with square ones is that sometimes they'll pop or something but like especially if you try and corner cut maybe this one just seems to be kind of locking but I don't really know if I'm doing it right or whatever so yeah <laughs> I don't know. As far as shades, it looks pretty nice to me. I really like the green, um, but there's nothing that I don't like as far as shades and size and all that stuff. So, yeah, hopefully sometime, I'm not sure when, <laughs> I will learn to solve square one, and then I could give a better verdict on that. And how about... Mega Minx. Okay. Get it out there. Okay, I have a Shang Shao Mega Minx, and this definitely looks and feels like it, so it's pretty safe to say that this whole set is a Shang Shao collection. It's pretty greasy, but so yeah, I'd say um we can definitely conclude that these are Shang Shao puzzles. If you do not have a Shang Shao Mega Minx, you need to get one. Um, even like just the plain Mega Minx is so smooth, just really, really nice and smooth. It's a pleasure to solve, it really is. I don't get into trying to speed solve Mega Minx, but I really think Mega Minx is a it's a nice shape and um, you know colors just blend together. It's impressive to non cubers and yeah, it, it's. It's a nice puzzle. It's just something I, I enjoy sitting sitting down to solve now and then. All right, so saving the kind of the best for last. Here is this uh, snake or roller snake or whatever it's called. I actually have a few of these like that are very very small. Let's show you one here. This thing, so you can see the piece size comparison is pretty major um so yeah this is just like a really cheap thing i got um but yeah this 
So apparently you can make all sorts of different shapes with these things. I'm not advanced in it or whatever. I don't know if solving it, I guess the solved shape would be like what, it's, what I started from, it's sort of like a spherish shape. But um, yeah, these things are pretty cool. And I, this one moves way easier than my small ones. My small ones are kind of hard to grip and um, make turns, so wow. I'm just trying to make it all into a one straight uh, line or rod. It turns smooth, but it does make some noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, there we go. So, coming through. <laughs> you can tell that that's pretty long. Like, if I hold it way out here, it still doesn't. Oh, okay, maybe I can get it to fit in the frame. Like that. Oh, Wow, it flexes like quite a bit. I guess just of how it's constructed. So maybe we'll just try and make um, another shape here quickly. Let's see. Just do something really simple. This is one of, of two rectangles you can make. It'd be nice if I could like snap this together like that, but <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you can do all kinds of cool things with these. So I'm excited about you know using this some more. So that's it, guys. Shengshao snake and the pyraminx skew. This is a pretty impressive set. You got six puzzles. Skew, Megaminx, Square One, Master Morphix, pretty much everything but um, a cube, <laughs> I guess as far as common puzzles, but um, yeah, makes an interesting set collection, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them all, but this thing's pretty cool, so I think I'll be playing with that some. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you later, bye.